Hi guys, this is Korean Ryan. <laughs> Today we will compare subway maps of big cities in Korea. This is because the most popular public transportation for Koreans living in big cities is the subway. <laughs> then let's go right now. Among the cities in Korea, five big cities have subways. Metropolitan area, Busan and Daegu, Daejeon, Gwangju. What you are most curious about is the subway line in Seoul, right? <laughs> As many people live in Seoul, the subway map of Seoul is too complicated. But look at this subway map. Here are Incheon and Incheon Airport. And there is Suwon City here. I mean, this subway map doesn't just refer to Seoul, but it also connects subway lines to other cities around it, including Seoul. So, in fact, you can go anywhere by subway in Seoul. This is an advantage, but on the other hand, it seems too complicated. Can you memorize this subway map? <laughs> Even I can memorize only a quarter. <laughs> and there are so many subway stations in Seoul that the ground has become very weak. That's the problem. Okay. The next city is Busan! <laughs> As you know, we are in Busan now. <laughs> the subway lines in Busan are not complicated than those in Seoul. <laughs> and the routes are inverted triangles. This is Gwangalli Beach and this is Haeundae Beach and you can see Gimhae Airport here. The subway in Busan is connected to Gimhae City just like the subway in Seoul was connected to Incheon and Suwon City. And comparing Seoul's subway map with Busan's subway map clearly shows the difference between the two cities. Oh, and I tell you more about the differences between subways in Korea and subways in other countries next time. The next city is Daegu. It looks like a star or a spider. Anyone can tell from this map that this is the center of this city. <laughs> and since there's no sea in Daegu, there's no sea in this map. Just I see the rivers. And I guess Daegu people usually make appointments and hang out in this area. <laughs> the next city is Daejeon. Just one line? Daejeon is a big city, but why is there only one line? People don't live in the north area or the south area. <laughs> but if we go to Daejeon, it will be easy to memorize subway stations. <laughs> the next city is Gwangju. Just one line again? The people in Gwangju don't live in the north area and south area too? I think if you go to Daejeon or Gwangju, buses will be more useful than subways. 
I've never been to Daejeon and Gwangju, so I'm sorry, I don't know much about Daejeon and Gwangju. Would they hate me if people in Daejeon or Gwangju were watching this video? <laughs> anyway, this is the end of today's video. Today, we compared the subway maps of big cities in Korea, and the subway maps were all different. What kind of transportation do people use a lot in your country? Please leave a comment. Then see you in the next video. Bye!